Hi there! In this video, we're going to show you how to add print slider to your forms. You are watching the sample. Before we begin, take a look at main points of video. At begin, we need to install and activate the plugin on your WordPress dashboard, navigate to Plugins or New Upload Plugin. You can see it's already activated. Next, create a new form. Give the form title. After activate the plugin, the slider button will be displayed at here. You just drag and drop the slider to add a range slider field. Change the label. Scroll down to select single or double. And to the skin, you can visit the document to see the skins. Continuously, we set the range. Enable grid of value. Save and have a preview. Now we try to set the slider step and start point. Let's see what happened. The handle will be positioned at 30. And step is set to 10, so the handle will move increments of 10. Moving ahead, we go to the handle control section. It's for double type, so we add a double slider field. We need to set the range and the slider step. Save and have a first look. Set the desired minimum and maximum values for the left handle. Update and see. The range slider now adheres to the specified minimum and maximum values from 2000 to 4000. Now we will do the same with the right handle. We can only move the right handle from 6000 to 10000. Moving forward, we go to the custom value section. By setting a custom value, you can define specific points that the user can choose from rather than allowing them to select any value within the entire range. 
For example, let's say you have a range slider with a range of 9 to 9999. By default, the user can select any value between 9 and 9999. However, with custom values, the user can only choose values like 999, 999, and so on, rather than any value within the range. Try a different example. The last section, read file number. At here, you can set your own separator for long number, set prefix or postfix, and special postfix. Let's try. You can see one more. We've gone through all sections. We hope this video helped you find out how to add range slider to your forms. Thank you so much and have a nice day.